I've been here for 13 years at Highmore, but I've been in, lived in the state here for about 27 years. Um, definitely the last few years, you, you can tell the difference. I mean, we're, our summers are we're getting a lot drier uh, here. Um, I've noticed this since I've been here, we're, you know, irrig we're irrigating more of the vegetable crops now than we, we've had before, just, for, just because of lack of moisture. Um, and you know, the summer, summers have definitely gotten a little hotter at times and drier, so I think it definitely has changed a bit. You, you know, you have to look also, you always think, when we think climate, I think farmers would think, oh, the summer lack of rain, but we can look at the winters too. Um, previous years we've had such a low snowpack that we weren't getting the snowfall and so we're not getting the spring melt off to build up the reserves. And so we're not getting that way. This year we had a pretty decent amount of snows, so, and we had a really wet spring. But now we just haven't had rain. When you'd like a nice inch of rain over a day, which would work really good, we get an inch of rain in 15 minutes and then everything falls apart on you. You get the, oh, you got an inch of rain, but the water runs off and it's not usable. It hits the ground and it flows down the ditch and it doesn't have a chance to soak into the ground. Um, it washes out orchard roadways where you just, you just can't handle the volume and just eats away at the roads. And so it's like we can't ever get it constant through the through the season. It's always easy. We get a lot of it, then we get nothing. So we had a really wet spring this year that put us behind planting everything. And now we're planting some stuff still, but we don't have, you know, we need water to water it in right now. And we keep it growing and we're just not getting it.